Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand. Today's recipe is chicken fried steak. No, it's not chicken fried like steak. It's steak fried like chicken. The ingredients for this dish are beef, flour, eggs, milk, breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, and oil. In a bowl that's gonna be big enough for you to put your steak in, you need two eggs and four tablespoons of milk. And with a fork, break those eggs and mix it up. Fold in a little air because you want this to make it fluffy. Done, chum. Now we're gonna get our beef together. This is a tri-tip, but I buy what's ever on sale for the week. This guy was $3.99 a pound, and that's a really good deal on tri-tip. But you can use any kind of beef for this recipe because you're gonna make it really tender, and I'm gonna show you how. Sometimes in those little packages, you already have a little thin piece. Well, with a roast like this, I don't. So I'm gonna cut it thin. I want it to be about a half inch thin. And I want two slices. One of the trademarks of chicken fried steak is that it's tender meat made from a very inexpensive meat that otherwise would have been a little tough. And this is a trick to get it there. I put my two pieces of meat and two pieces of plastic wrap. So from A side, we need B side and put your second sheet of plastic wrap on the B side. And with the biggest mallet you have, and maybe the smaller little impressions, beat the heck out of it. This is the fun part of the recipe. If you have any personal issues, this is the time to bring them out. It's gonna double the size of your steaks in no time. All right, we've had some fun. Okay, all done, therapy worked. Cooking can be therapy. To get to the finish line fast, this is where I heat up my frying pan and I pour in about a quarter inch of any kind of vegetable oil you have in your cabinet. That's great. The chain of events is you need flour on one plate, you need your eggs and milk in the middle, and then you need your breadcrumbs on the side plate. That's the order. That's about a half a cup of flour, and I'm putting my steak on it. And while that steak is sitting there, sucking up the flour so it sticks, I'm gonna salt the other side for a little pre-seasoning. Do the flip and do some press. Press it down to get the flour everywhere. Just like in fried chicken, it's really nice to have a chicken fried steak that has the crispiness of crispy fried chicken. Now he goes for a little dip in his little egg bath today. He needs to float both ways, so flip him. A little shake off, and now we're gonna towel dry him into the crumbs. That's his little towel today. And if you don't have breadcrumbs, just put whatever crack you have in a plastic bag and beat the heck out of it. And then you've made your own. He goes on deck and waits for his buddy to join him. It's time for his friend to join. Flour, flip, and now into the egg pool. Flip, and the breadcrumbs. And then we got the club hands. This isn't that funny. We're in the swimming club today, and we have club fingers. Ready for the fry. You need to test your oil to make sure it's hot enough because you don't want the meat absorbing the oil. You want it to quickly fry it. So I've got a little baby piece. We're testing him. In he goes. Okay, sizzle, sizzle. We got action, Jackson. So let's fry that steak. Don't be a chicken. All right, move over, little one. Big Daddy's coming in. That's gonna take about three minutes to cook on that side. And I'm gonna flip it. Let's see if it's time for the flip. Oh yeah, it sure is. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a perfect doneness. Your turn to be turned. And don't forget the baby. That's gonna be the cook's tester. He's ready. He comes out first. Because I love chicken fried steak with gravy, I have a tip. Turn your oven on 200 degrees, and when they're almost ready, because I don't like my beef overcooked, I kinda like it medium rare, take them out, put them on a piece of paper towel, and now we're gonna stick them in the oven until I'm done with the gravy. I don't like wasting anything. So I'm taking two tablespoons of this flour and I'm putting it into the oil. We're gonna make a roux. I'm eyeballing it. You might wanna use a measuring spoon and whisk it up. I'm scraping the bottom of that pan to make sure I get all that goodness. I enjoy a little pepper in my gravy. That's about a quarter teaspoon and salt. And give it a stir. And now I'm adding one quarter cup cream. That looks good, let's turn it on low now. Look at how thick that is. 
That is a rich beef gravy for the top of our chicken fried steak. So put your steak on your plate. And even that plate's warm. Yeah. And put the gravy on. Oh boy, here come the calories. Oh, let's try this. Wow, doesn't that look great? Mm. Wow, that's great. I'm Rebecca Brown, subscribe to my channel. And let's get making great recipes, like chicken fried steak with no chicken.